Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we are going to be building a three-cylinder modular engine. So, the way that this has to work is you have to go into the experimental branch, uh, and you need to select uh, the experimental branch. That's what you need to do. Anyway, uh, then you'll unlock a bunch of parts. Now, those parts look like this. Uh, you unlock the modular engines, which is this bit right here. You get yourself an alternator, you get yourself a clutch, you get yourself an engine manifold for cooling. You get yourself a crankshaft, a cylinder, a engine drive belt, some exhaust pipes, then you get yourself a fluid pump, and a manifold. Look at that, beautiful. You also get some more exhaust um, uh, pipes down here as well, if you need them. Uh, we've also got a starter, which is definitely necessary. Anyway, we're going to work on a three-cylinder engine, and hopefully it'll work. Hey! Okay, so to begin with, let's go ahead and build ourselves a little platform. Let's just go ahead and pretend this is going to be a car, and we'll just build something like this. Very nice. Just so it contrasts, we'll go ahead and paint it pink, I guess. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just paint it pink. Good. All right, so... Now, let's go ahead and get white, and we'll start building. So, the first thing that you actually want to place is this thing right here, which is the crankshaft. We're going to need three of these, I'm pretty sure, because we're building a three-cylinder engine. On top of those, or actually, you can put them on the sides or the bottom, uh, we put our cylinders. So we got three cylinders, because it's a three-cylinder engine. Very nice. Okay, so, now we need to think about cooling, okay? So what you want to do is you want to put a cooling thingamabobby, uh, sorry, a manifold on the front, okay? This will actually allow you to put fuel in and air, okay? So the easiest way to do this is by grabbing a fluid pot, putting it on one side, and on the other side, you just want to put a fluid tank, okay? Because you want fuel. They work off diesel because they should, uh, and that's completely fine. All right, very nice. Okay, so the way we've built this, we're gonna have to actually put the clutch and the, um, is there a throttle? I think it's just a clutch, and then you can actually just put like, I don't know, like a propeller or something on the back of it. So let's go ahead and grab a propeller, and I'll show you guys if it works or not, because it might, it might not. We'll see. This is the first time I've actually tried to build one uh, properly, so uh, that makes sense. So we've got the circle on this side, we got a circle on this side. This one provides power, on the other side, what you want to do is you want to grab do, 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 the drive belt. So that's the one that looks like this, the, the engine drive belt. So you want to put that right there. Main reason is because if this turns, then the actual crankshaft will turn as well, which also means that we need our starter on this side. We should also put our alternator on this side too, uh, but you can see that this one actually fits perfectly into there because those ones are rectangles whereas these ones are more like squares so that's the main way you can actually figure that out which is pretty good all right cool what else do we need to figure out i think we need cooling so in order to actually cool this thing we're gonna i, hmm, I, I think i might have built this slightly wrong slightly wrong yeah what we're gonna do is we're gonna extend these ones backwards a little bit because we need to get to both sides of this. This is A, and on the other side it'll be B. So we're going to extend this out one, and hopefully we can put a manifold or something in there, and that'll allow us to transfer the power, or the fuel in the air, sorry. Okay, so there we go, we've moved it out one, that's beautiful. Let's just go ahead and do this as well, just so we can test it out properly, uh, once we've got it working. So that's good. Um, oh, that's not actually the best though. It's not, because this underneath will have to go further backwards. I don't know whether we can use a pipe on that bit, that's all. So, we're actually just going to attach the clutch back there. That's fine. That worked anyway. Good. Get our propeller again. Yep. Go ahead and whack it on the back of that. And that's all good. Alright, cool. So, now we just need a pipe. Uh, but you can't use the normal pipes. You have to use the new ones, I'm pretty sure. We want a straight engine manifold. So, that'll attach to this side, which is the actual manifold which allows the fuel and the air to get consumed by the engine. Uh, then it gets passed through into the cylinders, which sort of allows the fuel and the air to mix. And that's how you create explosions, kind of. Well, not really, but kind of. Uh, right, okay, so we need a pipe uh, on both sides of this. Now, this one does actually require normal pipes, which is a little bit strange, but that's fine. 
Um, then we want to get ourselves a heat. You can use a heat sink. You can use a heat radiator. Uh, I don't think it actually matters. So we'll just put that right there. Go ahead and attach both of these to it. There we go. And there we go. Beautiful. And that is pretty much our cooling done right there. That's awesome. Okay, so now on the other side, all we need to do is get the exhaust ready to go. And that's pretty much it. So this one is purely for exhaust. So we can just whack it on backwards. Okay, then we've got these ones also for the exhaust. There we go. And we can just get an exhaust, <laughs> an exhaust pipe, and we can shove that on the back. Right, so in theory, this engine should work. So we're going to grab ourselves a battery. We're going to just shove it in right there. Doesn't really matter where it goes. We need a button to actually start the starter right there. And we need a throttle lever to actually do uh, the actual throttle. So that's good. So attach all of these together. Everything needs electricity that is there pretty much. This goes to the starter, which is our button. And this goes to our throttle, which is the intake manifold. So in theory, this should start and drive uh, the propeller. But I don't know whether we need to apply the clutch first. Anyway, do this. Our engine is running. Perfect. It seems to go up to 100 RPS instantly. Uh, which isn't the best and it might explode. But um, yeah, all we need now is another throttle lever for the clutch. And that will allow the propeller to turn. Okay, so just get yourselves another propeller, attach it to your clutch, and that is easy peasy. Also, remember to give it electricity, and that'll be fine. I am going to move this over to where we are, which I think is over there. I think, yeah. And then we'll spawn it in, and we'll see if this works. So, go ahead and press this button. Start it up. There we go. Do this. And it'll run the propeller. That's awesome. we got a three-cylinder engine running, running a propeller. That's awesome. Now, if you actually want to charge your battery, the next thing that you actually need is an alternator. So, type in alternator, grab this thing, attach it onto where the drive belt is, right there, and that should run the alternator, which should, in theory, charge the battery. Uh, because there's an imaginary belt around this, around this, and around this, uh, and they all get driven. So that should, should create electricity. In fact, let's figure that out. So, dial. We'll have a dial. We'll have it purely for the battery. Okay. Here we go. Let's label it battery. Battery. There we go. Very simple. Um, and attach that straight to the battery. That's literally all we need to do. So attach this to the battery. Spawn it in. We'll use some electricity purely by cranking the engine. Okay. There we go. All right. It's slowly using it. It doesn't really use that much battery to start this thing. Which is interesting. But essentially, that should go down over time if we keep cranking. Okay, for some reason, that's not even going down. But the easier way to actually do this is to grab a motor to run down the electricity real quick for a test. Go ahead and put a propeller on it. Go ahead and put a throttle on there. You guys don't need to do this if you're building an engine. But I just want to test out the alternator. So attach that to there. Run it on the battery. There we go. And that should run down the battery now. Perfect. So this has nothing to do with it, to be fair. But essentially, that'll run down the battery as you've seen. Okay. The engine itself will still start, but it won't charge the battery. Okay. Now, if we attach the alternator, like we had before, it should, in theory, charge the battery like a car in real life. So attach that right there. Attach it straight to the battery. Very good. Uh, clutch pressure. I guess that actually needs to go on the clutch as well. All right, okay. Let's see how this works. I've never actually done this before, so I, I really don't know. But um, essentially, we're going to do this. All right, we're going to get it down to about 80. That's fine. There we go. Very nice. 80. Start the engine. There we go. All right, and do this. There we go. It runs the propeller, and it also charges the battery, because the alternator right here should be spinning. The belts aren't actually there right now, but they will be eventually, I think. I don't know. But um, anyway, that was just a quick tutorial on how to actually build a three-cylinder engine. Essentially, if you just want to build it bigger, you just add more crankshafts underneath, and you add more cylinders. And eventually, you'll have a really, 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 really big engine if you make it really long. But um, 
yeah, that's all I'm going to do for right now. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.